Today our title is Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. So this is talking about mixtures of gases. Um, I'm using the overhead. We all know what that means. Um, fear of the left margin, but hopefully I've left enough space so we'll have it in here. Okay, um, so I'll move to the board in a little bit to work a problem, but for now. For a mixture of gases in a container, or a mixture of gases anywhere, the total pressure exerted is the sum of the pressures that each gas would exert if it were alone. So just because they're mixed together doesn't mean that one type of gas has an effect on how much pressure the other gas would exert. They're, they're independent and not affecting each other, and so the total pressure in that container is the sum of the pressures that each gas would exert if it were alone. So we write it like this. Total pressure equals the pressure of gas number one plus the gas the pressure of gas number two plus the pressure of gas number three etc 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 pressure meaning the pressure in which that one individual gas is contributing to the total pressure of that mixture of gases. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, do a problem here. I'm going to read this problem. And then I want you to pause it, you guys, because I'm just going to move straight to the board. Mixtures of helium and oxygen are used in scuba diving tanks to prevent the bends. Um, what are the bends? Well, divers, um, you're down deep in the water, of course. Uh, there's a lot of water pressure on you. And if your tank contains air, which is majority nitrogen gas, what happens is, is that under the pressure of, um, when you're deep under the water, the nitrogen gas actually dissolves in your blood, and then as you um, ascend out of the water, it starts to, it comes out of solution, the nitrogen gas does, and it begins to form bubbles in your blood vessels. And those, um, then of course there's lots of fears. We could have a ruptured, well it hurts, number one. Um, number two is ruptured blood vessels. And if those rupture in your brain, that's a stroke, um, deadly often. And if it ruptures in your lungs, uh, an aneurysm, I think, is how it's termed in your lungs. And actually, if they bust anywhere, they're called aneurysms. And also in your lungs as well, that, that can cause death. Um, all right, so you've got to use, uh, you're not using, divers don't use any nitrogen gas in their tanks. So, for a dive, 46 liters of helium at 25 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere, and 12 liters of O2, this should be a subscript, oxygen gas at 25 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere, were pumped into a tank that has a volume of 5 liters. Calculate the partial pressure of each gas in that 5 liter tank, and the total pressure in that 5 liter tank if the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. 
All right, so the first thing we need to do, you guys, we need to figure out how many moles of gas do we have that are getting pumped into that five liter tank. That's the very first thing we're going to do. So we know the um, we know the pressure, we know the volume, and we know the temperature of both of the gases. And so what we've got to do is calculate then how many moles of them we have got. Okay, so. We are going to use PV equals nRT. Alright, and what we are solving for you guys is number of moles. Number of moles of helium, number of moles of oxygen, and then once we know how many moles of each we have, we can calculate what their pressure is going to be in this 5 liter tank, and then sum those two pressures together to get the total pressure in the 5 liter tank. All right, so we're going to begin with the helium. So we are solving for a number of moles of helium. Um, so number of moles of helium, I'm going to rearrange this equation, you guys, so that it will be PV over RT. Okay, all I've done is rearrange this thing. So what is the pressure of the helium <clears throat> before it gets pumped into the 5 liter tank. Well, it's at 1.0 atmospheres of pressure, and the volume that it occupied was 46 liters. R is 0 0.0821, that's our gas constant, and our temperature was at 25 degrees Celsius. So 25 plus 273 is 298. All right, so what we've got then, if we do this mathematics, we have 1.9 moles helium. Okay, so that's how many moles of helium is getting pumped into this 5 liter tank. So the next thing we need to know is how many moles of oxygen are getting pumped into this tank. So we have got number of moles of O2. And again, you guys, I'm just going to rearrange this thing. Okay, what was the pressure of the O2? It was 1.0. Okay, how many liters of O2 did we have? We had 12 liters. We're going to use the same gas constant. And the temperature was the same, 25 degrees Celsius plus 273 is 298. Okay, and if we do this mathematics, what we're going to find is we have 0 0.49 moles of O2. So into this 5 liter tank, we are going to put 1.9 moles of helium and 0.49 moles of O2. Now you guys, if all we needed to do was find the total pressure of the gases in the new tank, all we would have to do is add these two moles together, and then with the new conditions, we get into PV equals nRT, and that will give us the overall total pressure of the mixture of gases in the new tank. But it's not asking us just for that, unfortunately. It is asking us for the partial pressures of both of those gases in the new tank. So we are going to have to solve for them individually with these numbers and moles, and then total the individual pressures to get um, the total pressure in the new tank. So um, again, you guys, we're going to use PV equals nRT. All right, so we know that we've got 1.9 moles of helium. And so 
we want to figure out now what is the partial pressure of helium in this new tank. So we're looking for the pressure of helium. And that is going to be equal to um, NRT over V. All right, so um, how many moles of helium are going in this new tank? 1.9. Point zero eight two one. What is the temperature of this new tank? Again, 25 degrees Celsius, so 298 Kelvin. And we're going to divide that by the new volume of the tank that it's getting pumped into, which is 5.0 liters. And that gives us a total of 2.4 atmospheres. Okay, so the partial pressure, partial pressure of the helium is 2.4 atmospheres in the new 5 liter tank. Pressure of the O2, again you guys, NRT over V. So how many moles of O2 do we have? 0 0.49. The gas constant is the same. Temperature is the same, and this as well is going into a 5 liter tank. Okay, I don't know why I suddenly need to be putting units here if I haven't done that before. And the reason I'm not putting units, you guys, is I'm completely making the assumption that we know that temperature is in Kelvin, volume is in liters, and pressure is a TM. Okay, that's the reason why I'm not canceling out units here, because it is a given that if we are plugging into this, that's what that's the units that we're using. Okay, so if you do this math, um, we end up have. Oh wait, did I mess this up? Yes. Just do just do this math and not get this number. No. This is the pressure of the oxygen, 2.4 ATM. Okay, what is the pressure of the helium? It is 9.3. But I bet you guys already figured that out, didn't you? Okay, so the partial pressure of the helium in the new 5 liter tank is 9.3 atmospheres. The partial pressure of the oxygen is 2.4 atmospheres. And uh, how are we going to find the total pressure? Total pressure is going to be 9.3 plus 2.4 is equal to 11.7 atmospheres total pressure. Problems tomorrow.